Hello, hello, dear friends. Today I will be playing Genshin, and well, I'm still doing that quest. Um, a new star approaches solitary fragments. Uh, but while I was doing commissions, I got into a new adventure rank, so it's pretty pretty. So now we'll go collect um, rewards, and then we will meet Jungli at Dihua Marsh. Add Astra at so let's see what we got. We got one Aquantic Fate, um, 40,000 Mora, 2 Fragile Horizon, 8 Mystic Enchantment Ore, and 6 Hero Swift. So thanks a lot for that. Maybe I will even upgrade my um, character. I really want to upgrade my Traveler to 60 level, but well, I'm very poor, <laughs> I need money, but of course I will get money when I will do uh, those quests. So okay, let's go to that place. I don't know if he'll wake up or now, but well, I want to collect this. Okay, oh, I got, well, I don't want Lumen, maybe later only, you know, I'm a bit busy with quests, okay, Zhangli, hello. Right on time, I myself only arrived moments ago, did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? You yes. so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. Oh, Paimon thinks she's very friendly. Business people are always friendly when it suits their interests. Yeah, her take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. She thinks that even the tactless Yu Hung is more trustworthy than her. Oh, so you also met with Kuching then? What did she have to say? She said the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu at Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? <laughs> no respect for the divine. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching. Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart, though they are both members of the Qixing. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Ningguang is highly intelligent. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tianxuan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. The Jade Chamber is only second? What's the most important thing to her then? Why, Mora, of course. Well, it makes sense. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. And now we are trying to reproduce the sigil of permission. Hmm. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. So, is there anything we need to get for the Rite of Parting in Diwa Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. Glaze lilies? Well, why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't the garden in Yujing Terrace have some? Even Qingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right! Paimon remembers that Madam Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. No. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do at all. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, 
Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glazed lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild glazed lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. You mean you need me to pick them? No. I need you to sing to them. Singing to the flowers will make them more fragrant. Ah! Uh, so how good is your singing? I can hold a tune. Really? Why doesn't Paimon believe you? We'll only know once she starts singing. I think I sing pretty well. <laughs> Okay, let's just go to the, those glaze lilies and we will sing to them probably. What we will sing? I have no idea. It's time to sing whenever you're ready. Clear's throat. <laughs> Those flowers put up quite a fight. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Well, that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Ugh, that's so lame. Excuse me. Are you searching for glaze lilies? Oh, hey, it's... What's your face? Uh... <laughs> Greetings, can you? Hello, traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Ah, oh, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. Nope. We found the way on our own. It isn't a secret, so perhaps you just assumed we knew? Oh, I see. Uh-oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. A little off about Ganyu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianchuan. But now I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. So that yes. means... Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first Seven. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. 
she is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this... farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an Adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilin. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. So you're half ceiling and no ceiling. <laughs> uh, that explains the horns. Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leo a ballad to it. Wow, so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, Gunyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks, in more ways than one. Zhang Li, you seem suited to working in agriculture development. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. All right. I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. Okay, so now... Oh, Wild Glaze Lily. But it's not... Oh, it's wild. It's Wild Glaze Lily. Not just a Glaze Lily. Because, well, I have a, just a Wild Glaze Lily. From Leo. Probably. Wait. I remember that I have it. Okay, we're gonna find it. In here. Um, glaze lily. Yeah, glaze lily. But now I have wild glaze lily. Feed? Yeah, I'm feeding you, little dog. <laughs> food anymore. I'm sorry, Dogo. You ate it already. Bye. <laughs> what happened? The city gate is swarming with Milleweth and... Was it Tui? You suck with Pelixan. Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. The Milleweth are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate times? The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. However, both sides were quite obstinate, and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Qixing. 
They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Surely the Liyue Chising are not the sort to give in so easily. Huh. Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Ah, that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> That's the Chising for you. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. Is there anything can we do? Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Neither path is an easy one. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. <sighs> Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what does Zhongli mean by looking for the fuse? A uh, child. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something really bad. But where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? Follow me. Okay, so now we will go to... Ooh, this place. Um... I'll just go from this. When suddenly I started to think about just Christmas. Um, well, Christmas will be on weekend, so there will be no holidays, well, school holidays. <laughs> so I was thinking that on Friday, when uh, we will all, like I mean my classmates, will go to school, I will just give them a present. And I was thinking about just um, giving cookies. Well, I will bake myself. And, well, I will put it in a box. Well, I will decorate that box, so... Yeah. And so I'm just searching for recipes. Because, well, I think it will be cool. I know. We will see. <laughs> okay, the golden shadow. Let's go there, and we will probably fight with someone. This is the golden house? It looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? And so full of mora. This is where all of Tabat's mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few mora go missing. If it were that easy, this place would have been emptied long ago. Oh, so it's a trap! Tricky, tricky. Good thing Paimon's got you here. But even if we can't take any, we can still have a closer look, right? Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora! It's like a dream come true! We'd better check on the Excuvia first. Excuvia? I don't is... remember how to say it. <laughs> Quiet. Surely someone's gotta be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look! What happened here? The Melilith. Uh oh. Paimon smells trouble. Quick! We have to go make sure that the Exuvia is alright! Okay, let's go. Ah! Examine the Exuvia. Uh. 
that's a big dragon. Rex Lapis. Nice. You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Huh? Who's there? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. Looks like I was just in time then. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location. Don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? Stopping the more immense. Hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? <laughs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. It's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing. And there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. The battle. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> you could say that. <sighs> when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Monsta ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along, to feel the thrill of battle. Besides, you could never defeat me, not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway, because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? I can never defeat you? You're completely delusional. <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. But we'll see. I'm actually cheating. This is hard to come by, so show me Not all sure. you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with the Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. And don't you dare disobey me, Coraline. <laughs> Okay. You've got a tr Haha! <laughs> Good! No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Well, that just means I can go all out. Brace yourself. No, you can't. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. You think you're so tough, huh? So we start tapping, actually. Uh, Electro. <laughs> wait, Electro works in him. No, wait. Oh, uh, no, actually, he was not. Oh, maybe he's on water, Electro. That would be cool. No, Electro's a five star. Okay. You've got some skills. Yeah, I've got some skills. <laughs> not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But. That's about as far as you'll get. <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing us to get close to the Exuvia! 
Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. <laughs> well then, I'll be taking Morax's gnosis now. Huh? <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Now it will be water and electro in one. Tartak, we are child. We learn 11th something. <laughs> Now I'm actually afraid. Oh wow, oh wow, no! What are we doing? Ouch. Okay, now it will be a tough fight. So I will, I will eat. Yes, I'm fully now it. Oh. You got to the noses ahead of me, didn't you? Did you simply move faster? Or did you leak the information regarding the gold mouth no, to me on purpose? Left. No matter. Hand the noses over now. Don't make me take it from you. You didn't take it? Yeah, exactly. Did. Oh, wait, Look! Child's back to normal again! Well then, time to cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you! We didn't take it! Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? Because I'm collecting the powers of the seven elements. You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend, even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that- Rexlapis still lives? Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this, 
for the weak will be swept away in the process. The truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon, in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liu Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago! How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey! Those are sigils of permission! Oh, Paimon remembers now! The Fatui have been researching them! I saw your research with my own eyes. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me, and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Nira, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. Huh? He's... he's already gone! That guy is fast! Uh, what's going on? with the calamity of such magnitude. We have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Lila? Eh, just seeing this overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy, even from all the way out here. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyu Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. <sighs> So will the power of the Chi-Sing, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. What? But all of you are supposed to be the Guardians of Lilith! Can't you think of something? 
One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet, it would take one, but a little tinkering to turn this ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Yep. Okay, so like I understood, we will need to fight them right now. The three Adepti are manning the Quajong Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. Okay. All able Millilith, with me! Let's go help too! We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Wait. Am I too strong for that? What you are made of then. What strength remains within you? One wishes to witness. Do you know? Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, there probably. No. What else? Oh, there it is. Wait, this place is alone. I don't like you. Oh, you don't get Now we are. What is that? What? That is Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful I'm not, not to get hit. How? <laughs> The Fatui! Wait. Their attacks are unrelenting! They are attacking me too, actually. How daring. Snezhnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one! No, wait. What am I supposed to do? Well, you know, I'm dying too. Were about to say we can't hold them, children? Oh god, no. Don't lose heart. Here, take this. This is... Adeptal energy. That light from your body. It's like the time in Julian Cars. Wow, it's Madame Pink's shockwave. This granny's really strong. Wait, I need to eat. I'm gonna die a bit. Ooh, what is that? There's another hunger there. The blood of the Chilean, I guard you against evil. Cast your okay. fear of injury by the wayside and fight with all your might. I okay, did I will... this during the Archon War. <sighs> so this is what Ganyu's like in a fight. Yeah, can you imagine it? My name means swiftness. Take my power and run as I do. Thank you. No, we're not. We're going too slow. <laughs> I'm just joking. We're monsters. <laughs> Child, you are strong in body and spirit. Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. <laughs> 
Nothing worse to come, right? No, there. Yeah, what's up with that, actually? The Fatui's numbers are thinning! Fight on, comrades! Once Don't we worry. finish this lot off, the Adepti will be able to deal with the god in peace. So now, that's it. Oh, chink, chink. <laughs> the interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Jean Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler. Lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the Sigil of Permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room. But with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. 
To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm... I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Huh. Forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Qixing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang! We are all on the same side here. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there is disco between the Guardians and those they were meant to defend, harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Hey, that's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides, because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both, and that nothing good would come of it. This is what we learned in the City of Freedom. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity. As Adepti, we've become a laughingstock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and... and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please, come visit us for the next Lantern Rite. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. It must be hard being an Adeptus. Aww. You see, 
This is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection, but it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. They have listened to what the people have said. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> Yes, one understands what the Conqueror of Demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. Hmm. <sighs> Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All swerve it ends well, huh? You can say that again. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the Overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death, too? Okay, so... You yeah. can talk. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhang Li's going. Let's ask for him at Wangsham Funeral Parlor. Okay, so I got some achievements. So this one is... Lily loves music, sing a song. Then I'll let you off this time, defeat child, defeat the overlord of her vortex, Daryl, and defeat four opponents with electric char with, within two seconds. Well, it was before this. Okay. Is there anything I can do for you two? I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liu? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. We had better go and make sure that everything is okay. To go to this place, yeah, Nor Northland Bank. You call this cooperation between Harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, you know. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. And you... You're also one of the Harbingers? Signora. <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. I still have time to take it back. No, don't let her get to you! 
You've yet to gather the powers of all seven elements. And our last battle at the Golden House was almost more than you could handle. So it might be best to keep things peaceful this time, seeing that two of the Harbingers are here. Well, if it isn't you two. This is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit... awkward, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have... different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhongli. Curse them for leading me on. Senora and Zhongli? So actually, I think... Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. The Gnosis, please. Agreement? What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> the contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise is solid as stone. How sanctimonious. So, Zhongli is actually Rex Lapis? What? So you're the Lord of Chiyo? No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. For it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. And why did you feign your death? all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over that's what he wanted to see am i right wait what perhaps it's best that i explain as you know i've dwelt upon this world for more than six thousand years it is now three thousand seven hundred years ago that i founded liu together with the adepti even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come, until one drizzly day. As I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death, and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liyue Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liyue. So were you satisfied with the now? Indeed I was. The Gnosis which I had kept for so many years suddenly seemed to have lost its meaning. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the Chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Lila back under control? Of course. And it would have been all too easy for him, too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced with the death of its deity. In the end, 
The resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Chising, but in the end, they even made efforts to understand the hearts of the people. Credit is also due to Signora, the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. This meant I could remain as Zhongli, even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. All of these things turned out as I had planned. There is only one thing that I had not anticipated, and that was the conduct of the Liu Qixing. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors, and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liu. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! Ha! <laughs> On the contrary. I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark! <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, Adepti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liu, would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? We were both equally fooled. Be that as it may. You've come out of this as the hero of Liu. I, on the other hand, will be forever prescribed as a disturber of the peace, no? <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapolyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Come, child. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. Do as you wish. Now then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? I'd like to know what the Cryo Archon offered you. Right! As Zhang Li always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a Gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, Uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. Okay, so now let's leave this Norland bank. Up to the dust, something happened. <laughs> So that's it for today, and well, so bye!